Canada's future under the sea could soon be shaped by one of the most advanced submarines in the world, the KSS-3, Canadian patrol submarine designed and built by Hanwha Ocean of South Korea. The KSS-3 Canadian Patrol Submarine, or KSS-3 CPS, is based on the already proven in-service and inactive production KSS-3 submarine. It meets and exceeds all the requirements set out for Canada's patrol submarine program, including in the areas of range, endurance, stealth, persistence, lethality, and Arctic operations. If a contract is signed in 2026, Hanwha says it can deliver the first four submarines by 2035, with the first ready in 2032. That quick delivery schedule will allow the Royal Canadian Navy to retire the existing Victoria class early, saving Canada an estimated $1 billion in maintenance and support costs. The company's plan goes even further. An additional eight submarines would follow at a rate of one per year, meaning Canada could have a full fleet of 12 submarines by 2043. No other proposal comes close to that timeline. Hanwha's approach is different. It doesn't just deliver advanced technology, it builds sovereign capability. The KSS-3 will be 100% fully supported and maintained in Canada by Canadian partners and suppliers. Hanwha is also committed to a long-term partnership with the Government of Canada and Canadian industry. That partnership extends beyond defence into aerospace, satellite services, domestic shipbuilding, energy, steel, critical minerals, forestry and agriculture. The goal is to create jobs, strengthen Canada's defence capabilities and build even closer ties between Canada and South Korea, supporting Canada's Indo-Pacific strategy as well as the recently signed Canada-Korea Security and Defence Cooperation Partnership. Hanwha already has memorandums of understanding and teaming agreements with more than a dozen Canadian companies, including CAE, Babcock, Blackberry, Modest Tree, Desnet AD Group, J Squared, Gas Tops, Curtis Wright, Indal, L3 Harris and PCL Construction. At DEFSEC in Halifax, Hanwha met with over 35 Canadian companies and organizations. Previously, Hanwha representatives have had discussions with large numbers of domestic firms. Some of those collaborations have already turned into real contracts. For example, Modest Tree in Nova Scotia has been awarded a project to create a digital mock-up of the KS3 CPS. Hepburn Engineering in Ontario is providing its replenishment at sea system for the Republic of Korea Navy's AOE-2 vessels. And Curtis Wright Indal, also in Ontario, has been contracted to supply the towed array handling system for the KSS-3 subs. South Korea, meanwhile, continues to deepen its own partnership with Canada, recently announcing plans to acquire four Bombardier Global 6500 aircraft for its next generation early warning program. Now. Let's talk about the submarine itself. The KSS-3, Canadian Patrol Submarine, represents South Korea's latest evolution in conventional submarine technology. Indigenously designed and refined through decades of experience, it's equipped with lithium-ion batteries and an air-independent propulsion system, giving it the longest submerged endurance of any conventional submarine in service today. It's built for multiple missions from anti-submarine and anti-surface warfare to intelligence gathering, surveillance, reconnaissance, mine laying and special operations support. And this isn't an export only model. The same class of submarine is actively operated by the Republic of Korea Navy. In real world conditions, that means Canada would be adopting a proven battle tested platform with an established global supply chain and decades of operational data backed by over 30 years of in-service support. The KSS-3 is the backbone of South Korea's Navy, and joining this program would allow Canada to become part of the international KSS-3 user group alongside a growing list of allied nations. Behind the submarine stands Hanwha Ocean, one of the world's most advanced shipbuilders. Its massive shipyard in Gojade, South Korea, spans 5 square kilometers and employs more than 31,000 people. Since 1973, Hanwha has built over 1,400 vessels, including 114 naval ships. The first KSS-3 was delivered to the Republic of Korea Navy in 2021, and the second followed in 2023. In that same year, Hanwha built 41 ships, naval and commercial combined. Hanwha Ocean is part of the larger Hanwha Corporation, Korea's leading defense company employing over 100,000 people across 91 subsidiaries worldwide. As part of its global expansion, Hanwha recently acquired Philly Shipyard in the United States, and it's now looking to establish a long-term presence in Canada, creating high-value jobs, boosting economic growth, and strengthening Canada's defense industrial base. 
Hanwha's global strategy spans Europe, Australia, North America, and the Middle East, but its ambitions in Canada are particularly significant. The company's plan isn't just to sell submarines, it's to build a strategic lasting partnership that will help Canada secure its Arctic, strengthen its economy, and deepen its role in the Indo-Pacific. The KSS-3 Canadian Patrol Submarine, a proven, modern, and Canadian-supported solution for the future of undersea defense.